I still have a marathon to train for. So. We've got buffalo wings. They literally look so legit. But look at that, that is so good. I thought we could unbox them and do like a little PR unboxing. Hello, the chair's in the way. Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can tell from the title, I'm back with a vlog, but rather than doing a weekly vlog, I decided I'm gonna do like a spend a few days with me vlog. A, to change up, and B, I'm not actually gonna be able to vlog, like, no, that's a lie. I just thought I'm not gonna vlog the whole week because I'm going to Cornwall at the end of the week and I wanted to like start a new vlog then. So we're gonna do like a spend a few days with me. So anyway, it is now Sunday. Josh and I were planning to go out this morning into Cambridge to go and get some pastries and go and get a coffee and stuff. Um, but once again, Cinch had not delivered Josh's car. So, so we've decided to rearrange our plans and we're gonna bring the coffee and the pastries to us instead. So we're going to Tesco this morning because is it a vlog of mine without going to Tesco? Apparently not. Um, I'm gonna go and get some like, pastries and I'm gonna get like big little like, croissants I can and then we can like make them. It's literally like 10 o'clock already, so it's gonna be a bit of a brunch, but anyway. And it's a lovely sunny day, it's blue skies, there's a heat wave coming this week, I'm so excited. Um, so I'm probably spending the afternoon in the garden, but anyway, I don't mean to explain the whole day, I'll just take you with me. There's something else, oh yeah. And then the bakery that I normally love around here is like the loaf tin, which we all know I'm obsessed with their pastries at the moment, they're not open on a Sunday. So we've had to resort to going to Tesco instead, which is, not the best, but we're going to make it work. Anyway, I'm going to stop blabbering now because I'm getting really, really hungry. We're going to go to Tesco and I'll see you when I see you. Let's go. I <laughs> do, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> cream donuts and these like croissants in a can i also wanted to get the chocolate filled croissants from tesco but they didn't have any annoyingly and then i wanted to get a coffee but these were like two pound twenty but if you bought three it was three for a pound which is such a good deal so i always ended up getting three like there was no ooh, there's the receipt there was no point just getting two so i got two of those ones and then one of these ones so i'm gonna make the croissants now and then have donuts oh it's literally like my ideal breakfast because he just wanted to do like, normal ones but I when we were going to go to Cambridge I was going to probably get like a cruffin or something like that so I thought I could do that but then also I remembered literally like last year maybe even two years ago I saw a TikTok of someone making croc -sons, like a croc shaped croissant so that is what I'm going to do I'm going to do probably one of them because I don't think it's going to go the best and then I'm going to do two like cinnamon sugar cruffins and hopefully they'll turn out good um Let's see. This is the TikTok that I saw. But I think they actually made the croissants from scratch. So I don't know how it's going to work with this. But I thought I might as well give it a go. So that's what I'm going to attempt first. And then next up, I saw a TikTok yesterday where you can use these to make croffins. They're obviously not going to be as good, but we're going to give it a go. This can be the strap and then... Oh no. I'm not sure this is going to work, but I'm still going to persevere and hope <laughs> for the best. This is the shoe base, which is very thin. I don't really see how this is going to work. And then just, I'm trying to score it lightly. So that can be, I need to make a hole. I'm going to use my Starbucks straw. This is literally DIY at its finest. I'm going to, oh. Is that a bit gross then drink for this afterwards, maybe? I'm gonna use this to like 
Oh no, that's too small. Um, I'm going to use a wine stopper to try and make the holes for the crocs. <laughs> Put that on there. And then this can be a little strap. I really am not hopeful that this is going to turn out very good. I'm going to have to show you. I'll make the cropping next and then I'll show you the crock in a second. So for the cropping, so it says to roll this out. So again, we're just going to use a Starbucks cup and roll this out so it's all one thing. I don't know. And then you just put some butter over it and then cinnamon and sugar and then you have to like cut it a certain way but I'm going to work that out in a second. And then you basically roll the little, like, cut the little loggy things, roll it around your finger to make a muffin and then put it in the muffin tin, supposedly, because it's all like that. And then you do this. And apparently that's going to make a coffin. I really hope that it does. This is a TikTok that I'm using. It looks pretty good. Like, she's used the thingies. Oh, I want to try and show you the end result. In a greased muffin pan. Bake at 350 for about 20 minutes, rotating the pan halfway through. Remove from the oven and immediately remove from the pan. See? This is the current um, results. So these are the croffins. I'm hoping they're going to bake well. And then this isn't looking as optimistic and as hopeful as I thought. It just looks so flat. So I can't really see that working very well. But we're going to try it anyway. And then this is just leftover dough that I thought I might as well chuck in. So. I think the croc ones are done. But I'm going to leave the croffins for a minute. <laughs> It's not as bad as I was expecting. I mean, it's not great. It's kind of lost all its holes, but like, it's not horrendous. Croissants in a can are literally such a weird concept. Like whoever thought of that is so bizarre, but like I actually love them. Ta-da! <laughs> There's my little croissant. Is that how you say it? Croissant? I suppose they're like a croissant, but a croc. Ta-da! That one's not the best looking one. There's one that's still stuck in the tray that looks a little bit better, but it doesn't look horrendous, so I'm gonna take that as a positive. This is the best one. Look at that. I'm mildly impressed. I'd give myself like a four out of 10 for them, which isn't, it's not too bad. Good morning. The hair is giving ratchet. She's giving it's six o'clock in the morning and a tangle teaser or any other brush that is any other brush of any other brand uh, has not yet run its fingers or its teeth or whatever it's called on a brush through um, this mess of my hair. So let's just ignore that. But it is now Tuesday, it's six o'clock, like I said, and it is going to be a hot day. The weather this week is literally making me so happy. Like I thrive when it's hot and sunny. And obviously with it now being September, it's like September the 6th today, it should really be autumn. And I was really mourning the loss of summer the other day. Like I love summer. It's my favorite season. And I don't feel like we've had a proper summer this year. So I was like so sad that it's over. So for this week in autumn to be 31 degrees tomorrow, I actually could not be happier. However, having said that, I still have a marathon to train for. So I'm up early this morning before it gets too hot to go on my run. Uh, so that is what I'm doing. And I have some new shorts at the moment. Uh, you would have seen them in the sheen haul if you've seen that, which I'm literally obsessed with. I think they're actually in my office from filming that video. So I just need to go and grab them. These are the shorts. I'm literally obsessed with them. But I am also aware that I do sound like a man right now, but you're the first people that I'm talking to and like it's six o'clock. So like we can make so many excuses for how I look and how I sound right now. Uh, but yeah, these are the shorts. I'm literally obsessed with them. So I'm going to put these on. I'm going to get going. I think I've only got like a 35 minute run to do today, which isn't too bad. Like I've done longer ones in my training plan, but they like to kind of change up. So at least it's not a new one that I've not done before, but... I still haven't decided what running sunglasses I'm going to keep. So um, I'm just going to have to wear these ones because I still need to decide which ones from H&M um, out of the three pairs I got I'm going to wear. So for now, this is the look. Let's do this. We are halfway there. I'm absolutely dripping in sweat. 
Like it's not even that hot right now, but I'm just so warm from running. But I'm halfway there, so I've turned around and I'm on the home stretch, even though I've still got half my run to do. But I'm seeing it as a home stretch because it makes it seem easier. Woohoo! <laughs> the run is done, and now me and my little companione um, are going to do the paddling pool. I mean, Reggie's literally not going to do anything other than stand in it because, um, yeah, that's just, he's obviously not going to help, is he? But I'm going to blow up the paddling pool because, like I said, this week is literally going to be like, tomorrow it's going to be 31 degrees. Like, that is ridiculous. And I cannot cope in that heat without water. And I don't have a pool um, and I don't have a senior by. So this is the next best thing. So I'm going to sort this out because I will probably be spending the rest of the day in here with him as well because he's literally obsessed with playing the paddling pool with his balls. He likes to like apple bob and stuff. So look, he's already doing it now. There's literally no water in there. Right, we need to actually blow it up and fill it first before we can actually properly play in it. Not sure my lungs are quite ready to blow up a whole paddling pool seeing as I've literally just gone on a run, but. I have literally just turned this hat on and he's already brought his ball in there and he's, this is what he does. He literally spends all day, when we've got the paddling pool out, he'll literally spend all day doing that. I need to remove all the leaves. It's got some leaves in it from like the trees around here that I need to take out, but I'm gonna fill it up first and then do that. And he will literally be in here all day now. I also brought some of these out with me. They're the Little Moon Iced Latte Coffee flavour because I thought, I can't really be bothered to go and make an iced coffee now that I've made my smoothie bottle. So I thought I'd have one of these instead. It's like a little ball of coffee. I don't really like Little Moons, to be honest. I'm not a big fan of like the texture on the outside, but these need eating. And I thought it was a bit of a fun alternative to an iced coffee as well. Okay, maybe I will be making myself an iced coffee shortly because I've just gone to get them out of the pack and um, this has happened. I don't really know how that's happened. It must have happened in the freezer. It must have like melted on the way home or something. And that is like one solid block of like little moon. <laughs> like, I don't think I can eat that. That doesn't look very edible. Currently half 11. I don't know if you can even see that. I don't know if that's showing up on camera, but I am now reading my book. I've been doing this for the past couple of hours. Well. I probably finished breakfast at like half nine, so yeah, probably like the past couple of hours I've just been sat here in the sun doing some sunbathing. This weather, it is so bloody hot right now, but I'm not complaining, I'm literally loving it. And I'm waiting um, for the sun to like go past the trees so then the paddling pool won't be in the shade anymore. And then I'm literally going in that because it is absolutely boiling and I really need to cool down. But this is the book I'm reading at the moment. It's Reminders of Him by Clean Hoover. I started it yesterday and I'm already 29% in, which I feel like is a good sign of like a good book. And I'm quite enjoying it at the moment. Like I'm not like, oh my God, you need to read this, but like I need to read it a little bit more. Like Mad Honey, we all know I was a big lover of that. This I need to read a little bit more to know whether it's like worth recommending, but at the moment I'm quite enjoying it. So I'm reading that. I've got my Stanley cup filled with water and ice. This is literally a godsend in this weather because it keeps my water so cold. Like even if I left it out of the shade and in the sun, it would still be like ice cold. Honestly, I love this cup so much. It's one of the best things I've bought this year. It's linked to my TikTok shop if anybody wants it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna carry on reading my book for a little bit. I just gotta have a bit of a catch up with you and I will see you in a bit. This is basically a clip of how my whole entire day has looked and how every time we get the pad and pull out looks. So basically, Reggie is ball obsessed. If you don't know that, I'm actually surprised because he's literally addicted. Um, the balls get stuck underneath here because like it's not filled up properly. So it's like not full up. Like, do you know what I mean? It doesn't like stand up fully because we haven't filled it up because it doesn't need to. So they get stuck under there and he literally loves like trying to find them out. And then he also likes to do this where he's like, he likes to stand on the balls. I don't know if you can see, it's a bit mucky. <laughs> it is 110% time for an ice cream. I've got the um, white chocolate Maltese ones I got the other week from, I was gonna say Home Sense, I was gonna say Home Bargains, uh, Food Warehouse. I had the, I tried one of the Hershey's cookies and cream ones the other day and they were like, okay, but not as good as they sounded. So I'm hoping these are gonna be good. And then I've even got ice cream for the dogs. I bought them these ages ago and I've been waiting for a hot day like today to give them to them. I got them from B&M and they're like ice cream shaped little things. I put them in the freezer, but it said to leave them in the pack to put them in the freezer and they're vanilla and peanut butter flavor. So I'm gonna give them these and see what they think. You want one? I'm not sure Reggie's actually gonna bother coming out the paddling pool to have one. Oh my god, look at how cool they look. Are you meant to open them or? Ugh, that stinks. I didn't know, if it, I thought these were plastic, but like, I think the actual whole ice cream is edible. So I don't know if you're meant to, yeah, you're meant to just give them that. I think the actual treat, the, the actual ice cream is the treat. That is so cool. Do you want an ice cream? Look at that. That's an ice cream. <laughs> no, do you want yours? Hey, Dylan. Ice 
is that or is that not the coolest thing you've seen? Why are you so fussy? <laughs> You're eating it like a human. You're gonna carry it like veg? No, you've got yours, darling. Right, now for my ice cream. It's nice, but she's not screaming, I'm a white chocolate Maltese ice cream to me. Like, they both, they all just kind of taste the same, which I'm quite disappointed by. It's half one and I'm absolutely boiling. Like, I don't even know how hot it is right now, but it feels very, very hot. And I've been sat reading my book all morning on the sofa, but I've been wanting to get in here and join Reggie, but this hasn't been in the sun, it's been in the shade. So it was like a little bit cold. I mean, the water is still gonna be absolutely freezing, but like now it's in the sun, I've decided it's time. It's time to get into paddling pool. And so conveniently, my giant inflatable ice cream that I love to sit on in the pool is still inflated from last year. I'm not too sure why we didn't deflate it because I've literally not used it at all this year. But it was the most amazing like blue Peter moment when I saw that earlier because it means I don't have to like blow it up myself. about to throw that ball on me. God, I know you so well. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> it's literally only quarter past seven, but it is already warmer than most of the days we've had this summer. Oh my god, my, we've already established, I love that feeling where it's like super early in the morning and it's hot already and you just know it's going to be a hot day, like that's one of my favourite feelings in the world and that feeling is happening right now and I'm so bloody excited about it. Good morning everyone, it is now Thursday, it is another lovely hot day, I've just got back from walking the dogs and it was so nice, like it was literally 10 to 7 in the morning and it was already like 16... I'm gonna say 16 degrees, which doesn't sound a hot, but that is so hot. Like it felt so warm already. Warmer than some of the days this summer have felt at that, like even at that time of the morning. Does that make sense? But it's another heat wave day. The forecast is said 31 degrees. I'm so excited. But before I do that, I've got a few things to do. First off being this that you can kind of see here. I don't really know what has happened, but in the past week, all these parcels have turned up at my door and they are basically, the majority of them are all PR parcels, which is absolutely crazy. Like I've never received this amount of parcels in that amount of time before, like it's honestly insane. So I thought we could unbox them and do like a little PR unboxing together and we can open the parcels and I'll show you what's in them. So I'm just gonna get straight on with that. Otherwise we could literally be here forever. I might as well um, start this way, like from the top downwards. This one, I don't know what it is. It's literally got no, um, like, it's got nothing on it to say what it is. Okay, it's from a brand that I work with quite often. Ah. Okay, this is the Max Factor Face Finity All Day Flawless Foundation. Um, that is for a TikTok collaboration. That is that there. Then we have this one, which I am so excited about. This is from Freshly Baked London, and I've been wanting to try one of their tans for ages. I don't actually know how... Oh, this is a giant sticker. Wow. I have been wanting to try their tans for ages, because these are the ones that, like, smell of mango and baby powder and marshmallow. They have, like, different scents. Oh, my God. They've sent me a tanning mitt as well. That is so nice. And they've sent me the banana-scented one, which I am so excited about, because we all know I'm a lover of banana-scented things. Oh, my God. I'm literally so excited to try this. The packaging is so cool. So they've given me the Velvet Self Tanning Mitt. Let's have a quick look at that. What's this? They've given me... Oh, that is so cool. Do not disturb. Baking in progress. It's like one of those little things you normally have on like a hotel, but you can put that on your bathroom when you're fake tanning. This is the tan mitt they've sent me. So just like this blue velvety one. And then I need to give you a close up of this packaging because she's absolutely stunning. Oh my God, the sun is so bright. You actually can't see that. There we go. Can you kind of see that? I'm scared to do this in white, in my white bedroom, but I really want to, um, I really just want to smell it. Oh my God, that is such a strong scent. I didn't know if it would be like very subtle or whether, you know like that biscuity fake tan smell. I didn't know if you'd still be able to smell that, but that literally just smells like pure banana. Oh my God, I'm literally obsessed. This could be my new favorite tan. I really hope it applies nicely. It's kind of annoying because I really want to try it, but I'm literally like so naturally tan at the moment from this heat wave that 
I'm gonna have to wait a couple of weeks until my natural tan is faded because I'd rather keep my natural tan for as long as possible but I'm so excited to try that because if it's a good actual tan this is gonna be my new go-to because the smell is incredible I'm just gonna move this out of the way otherwise we're literally gonna run out of room then we have this parcel which again is from like the same company that I work with with like the max factor one it's basically just like an agency that get me like various campaigns of different brands and this one is <gasps> wow this one is with daisy by mark jacobs and it's come with this little um in this little case which is so cool so like this little round case <gasps> oh my god this is so cool and then inside there's three different perfumes so there's Daisy, Marc Jacobs, Oh So Fresh, Daisy, Marc Jacobs, the normal one, and then Daisy, Love, Marc Jacobs. They're these tiny little boxes. Like, look at how small that is. Oh my God, I can't do any close-ups today because the sunlight is too bright, which is kind of frustrating. But they're these little, like, perfume capsule things. Oh wow, this is, oh my God, this is so cool. So you get, like, a tiny little tin inside. Like, this is so small, like, perfect to put in your handbag. And oh my God, this would be amazing for traveling. And then inside of these tiny, you get 30 of them, these little like, oh my God, you're not gonna be able to see this. I'm gonna have to do a close up. Can you see these like little plastic, there you go, those little plastic things. And you take one out and you squeeze it. And it's basically got the perfume in it. So you like squeeze it directly on your wrists. Oh my God, that is actually genius. Like, that is so handy for like being out and about and just like topping up your perfume. So I've got three different scents in those. They are so cool. And a little bag to put them all in. That is actually amazing. I'm so excited to try them. I kind of, should I try one now? I might as well. I'm a little bit scared. Oh, you twist. Twist. Oh, so you like twist the top bit off. Oh my God, that smells delicious. And then you squeeze it on. Oh, it's like, it's kind of like a hand sanitizer gel. It's a little bit more like thicker consistency than perfume. Oh my God, that is genius. That smells so nice as well. I honestly love that scent. That is such a good idea, like to keep in your handbag and stuff. That is gonna be so perfect for going on holiday as well. That is genius. Okay, next up, I now have two of these ones, which are both from Tan Lux, which I am so excited about. Like I cannot believe Tan Lux have sent me some stuff, but I think they might have sent me two of the same box, I think. I need to open them, but I think I might have accidentally um, got sent to. I'm so excited to see what is in here. Oh my god, this looks so fancy. It's got this like paper in and then oh my god, there's loads in here. I've got the Tan Lux Express Mousse Hydrating Self Tan Mousse. That looks so nice. And then I've got the Tan Lux Super Glow Hyaluronic Self Tan Serum and the Super Glow SPF 30 Illuminating Bronzing Drops. Oh my god. <gasps> this is a bit of me. Look, right, let me... I'll show you that in a second. Let me just open this one up. I love the packaging as well. It's in these little like cardboard tubes. And then this is the hydrating self tan serum. Oh my God. Look at these bronzing drops. I am so excited to try them. They're in like these little pipette bottles. Oh my God, I'm so excited about that. This is like Christmas. This is so fun. I'm just gonna quickly open the other Tanlux one just to see if it's the same or whether the products are different. Okay, yeah, this one is the exact same. So I'm kind of tempted to do a giveaway, but then I don't know how many people would be interested in a giveaway. So if you'd be interested in the giveaway, let me know down below because I don't need two of the exact same thing. I feel like I might as well give back to one of you guys, but that is super exciting. Then we have this box, which is incredibly heavy and so random, but this brand contacted me on Instagram and said that they'd seen my like Stanley Cup tick TikTok, which um has got like a few hundred thousand views quite a lot of people have seen it and they asked if they could send me their bottled water oh my god is my camera overheating oh my god my camera is overheating because of the fact it's like a heat wave today that's crazy i'm gonna have to turn you off a second and bear with i can't quite remember what i was saying but basically this brand contacted me asking if they could send me their bottled water which is meant to be better for the environment or something um so it says here the future of bottled water Hey Georgie, hope you enjoy alt water. Love your style to bits and looking forward to your future content from Min. That is so cute. Um, but it's meant, oh, it says refill, reuse, recycle, hydrate. So I think it's like recyclable bottles and stuff. Because I absolutely hate buying bottled water when I'm out. A, because I could have just got water from home for free. And B, it's just annoying. I've got so many bottles and it's obviously not great for the environment. But if these are recyclable, then I'm excited to try. So. Oh my god, these bottles are so nice. I never thought I would like a water bottle so much. Oh my god. 
So I've got still water and sparkling water, and I think these are metal. They sound like an aluminium can type thing, which I suppose is much better. It's just like having a can, but it's got a lid on it. These, this packaging as well is absolutely stunning. Look at them. Oh my God, I've got three of each. So three still, three sparkling. I am actually obsessed with bottles. Like I'm literally the type of person that would buy this bottle and then like obviously like reuse it purely because it looks nice. So I feel like they've hit the nail on the head with that. That is such an aesthetically pleasing water bottle. I will literally be reusing, reducing, recycling. Well, reusing them. And then when they kind of get to a point where they're kind of dead, I will be recycling them. So that is pretty perfect. And then I've got this, which wasn't like gifted to me, but TikTok shop basically gave me a five pound voucher. And these made by Mitchell Blurshes were on sale for five pound. So I just used that voucher on this. So all I had to do was pay postage. And I already have one of these, but when I got the voucher, I thought I might as well use it and get another one because I really like it. And this one is in the shade Sweet Cheeks, which is a bit of a darker pink to what I'm used to, but oh my God, that looks so nice. It's like a Barbie pink sort of color. Again, I'm excited to try that. I kind of got the voucher because I like create content on TikTok. So it's kind of like gifted, kind of not. And then this last parcel I'm so excited about. This isn't actually gifted at all. I bought this parcel, but I think I know what is in here. And I'm so excited about these. So I thought we could open them together. These are a pair of Ultra Ugg Minis, but the dupe of them. I got these off, I think I got these off Sarama, either off there or DHG. I think it was Sarama. I'll leave a link down below. They've even come in like an Ugg box and everything. I really hope these fit and I really hope these are the colour that I want. Oh my God, these literally look so like legit. They come with like the Ugg label. I'll give you a close up and everything in a second. Oh my God, these are the colour I wanted. They're so soft as well. I actually don't get how these are not real. These, everything about these literally looks legit. Like I would not be able to tell the difference. I just need to try them on to make sure they fit before I get too excited. And then I will give you a close up. These are honestly insane. I feel like Cinderella finding out if I'm about to go to the ball or not. Oh my God, the camera is overheating again. These fit though, which is perfect. I got them in a size five and I'm like a 4.5. They fit perfectly. I'm gonna have to turn the camera off so it can cool down again. And then I'll give you a close up in a second. This is so annoying. This is a little close up of them. So look at how legit they look. Like even the back bit and everything, they're so soft and fluffy as well. They're a little bit darker than what I wanted. I kind of wanted like the antelope grey and I thought, I mean, this might be what the antelope grey colour is, but I feel like this is more of like a khaki, like a bit of a darker colour. So they are a little bit darker than what I wanted, but I'm still like going to wear them. Like they're literally perfect other than that. And this is how they came, like with the wrapping. And then they also came with this, which literally looks so legit. And then the box shuts like that. Like, honestly, I would not... If someone handed me these, I would not know that they're not real. Like, they literally look so legit. But look at that. That is so good. And then also the other day, I also ordered this. I couldn't wait to open this, though, so I haven't opened it. But it's, um, again, like a little Ugg dupe. It's the Ugg X Telfar bag, which I really wanted last year. Um, but I ended up just getting the little dupe version. Look at how cute this is. It's not going to go with those Uggs because of the colour of them, but I've really got a pair of Uggs that this is going to work really well with. It comes with a little long handle. I'm gonna pick you up again actually so I can show you up a little bit closer. This is the little bag, look at how cute. It's got like the Borg shirling sort of material and then it's got the long handle there and then it just like opens like that. It's got like the little UGG logo in it. It came in this dust bag. So again, I'll leave a link to this down below in the description box in case anybody else wants it. I'm actually so pleased with these two purchases. Like they are so good. We are back and I'm now gonna do a little bit of packing for Cornwall because I'm actually going to Cornwall tonight. We were gonna be going to Cornwall tomorrow morning like super super early but we decided we're gonna go tonight late instead so i need to basically get on with packing so i thought i would give you a bit of a rundown of some of the things i'm gonna be packing with me because because of the heat wave i can still wear some of my summer stuff which is amazing because there's still a few like summer outfits that i haven't yet worn this year that i really want to wear one of which being this which is a little swimsuit i don't know where the hat is i've potentially left it down in cornwall but I need to double check because I really want to wear this. So it's like this um, twisted um, swimsuit. And then I wore it with like a brown, um, actually I've still got it in here. I do need to pack that. This like um, brown shirt from Zara. If you've seen my styling the styling little weave bucket hat, either on TikTok or on my Instagram, you'll know what I'm talking about. I wore this open with this and with the hat and it looks so good. So I definitely want to pack that. I also um, am going to pack 
these i literally pack these everywhere i go they're the zara vest tops i literally live in these i love them so much i've got a white i also i've just folded these up so now i'm unfolding them which is really annoying <laughs> um i've got a beige and then i also recently got this which is like a mix between the two kind of it's like an off-white color so i'm gonna bring them because they're gonna go with a lot i also popped a prime up the other day and i got a couple of bits one of which being this bag look at how cute it's like a borg shirling bag so I'm tempted to bring that in case it gets a bit more autumnal because the problem is I'm there for three weeks and it's a heat wave at the moment but then come the end of the, the three weeks it could literally be raining. I'm hoping it won't be but like I need to pack for autumn just in case and this is so cute so I might bring that. I also just got um, this pack of pyjamas from Primark but I'm going to have them at Josh's house I think. But look at how nice they're like the boyfriend one and then i just got a new mascara because i need one for my bottom lashes and then my brother got me these ages ago when he came back from thailand and i've still not worn them um but i'm so excited i've kind of been waiting to show you them before i wear them they came like this which is um, like perfect for people that are backpacking around thailand like how clever of the shop to have packed them like that and they're basically these 7-eleven like boxer style comfy shorts and i love 7-eleven like when i was in canada um, our family friends that we stay with literally have a 7-Eleven down the road and I literally love that shop so much. So my brother got me these and he also got himself a pair so we can match. So I think I might bring these with me. I actually love these. I think these are brilliant. Oh my God, look at them. I've got um, little shorts on underneath this dress already. It's like a little jumpsuit type thing. So I'm just going to try these on over the top because I'm so excited about them. Oh my God, look at how hideous. I literally love them. Uh, I think I might pack them just for like wearing around the house i'm never gonna wear these out of the house but you know like comfy um pajama shorts so i want to bring them i also am kind of tempted to bring this because this is such a cute little bag for autumn so i might bring that i need to i've already started to accumulate some other things um in my office like clothes i want to bring but i just want to show you some of the summary bits definitely bringing my beach bag because we all know i love her i've got this hat from zara that i really want to bring because it says salty club on it I don't know if you can see that but that would be so nice at the beach and it's all like neutrals and stuff that could even look quite cute with that i'm gonna do a bit of packing now because i've been filming in this setup for ages so it's probably really boring so i'm gonna do a bit of packing for cornwall and stuff it is um it is currently quarter past nine so it's still nice and early because i want to get this packing done as quick as possible and as early as possible before it gets too hot then i'll probably spend a bit of time in the garden um, reading my book and sunbathing I'm like 70% where 70% of the way through the book that I was reading earlier on in the vlog so I'm hoping to get that finished today because then it means I can start a new book when I'm in Cornwall which would be quite nice so I'm gonna do some packing do some sunbathing read my book for a few hours and stuff and I'll see you in a bit I've popped into Audi on the way and they've got so many new dupes in I've already got this this is a dupe of the Laurel Mercier but they've got this as well which is a dupe of like drunk elephant exfoliating their colic treatment We've got these as well. They literally have so many good dupes in. I just popped to Audi because they've come out with loads of dupes today. Um, so this, I don't actually know what this is a dupe for, but it's a vitamin C serum, which I wanted to get. I also got one for mum. And then I also got this, but I decided I didn't need it, but mum wanted me to get it for her. So I've got it for her, but it's a dupe of the Drunk Elephant. Um, I don't know what the Drunk Elephant one's called, but it's like the packaging looks really similar. It doesn't have the um, push down pump thing annoyingly though. And they also had a dupe for the Colorwell um, spray, which I really wanted to get, but they, they had it in stock today, but like it, there wasn't any left when I got there if you know what i mean they had like empty packaging which i'm kind of gutted about but i still managed to get um this which i wanted and i could have got this if i wanted but i decided not to um and this is the price of them if anybody wants to know £3.29 for the serum and then £6.99 for the moisturizer and i don't know how much the drunk elephant one is but i know it's expensive so they probably will be sold out by the time this video goes live because there's barely any left on the shelf now and they literally came out today so they seem to be quite popular but still i'm happy i managed to get them um i just really wanted the color wow one because it was like £6.99 and it literally looks like the color wow um spray thing but oh well good evening i am so bloody hot i've had to leave the roof down because it was either that or having the aircon on blasting really loud it is literally half past five in the evening and my car is saying 29.5 degrees which is just ridiculous but anyway i'm now sat here waiting for josh because we're going for some dinner this evening because like in our town this lighting is literally horrendous isn't it and i'm so sweaty like i literally have a sula but on a thursday night our town has like food trucks and uh we thought we'd come because it'd be a nice thing to do on like this summery evening but it is so hot like i thought it'd be like a nice warm evening to do it but actually it's like a hot evening to do it but i'm not complaining i love this heat wave but it is very hot 
we've ordered a pizza and some chicken wings so we're gonna get that and i've also seen as i was pulling in i've seen they've got the ice cream van tonight which i was really hoping they would because i really fancy mr whippy and also the fair is on in town so they've probably got the warm sugar donuts as well which i'm so tempted to get but annoyingly i'm on a bit of a time constraint this evening because rather than going to cornwall tomorrow morning we're now going to cornwall this evening so like rather than being able to spend as long here as i would have liked um i've got to get back soon so that we can get in the car and head down to cornwall but it means we don't have to wake up at three o'clock tomorrow morning which is what i was gonna be doing so like every cloud is a silver lining but i'm just gonna be a bit rushed tonight so if we were here like all evening i literally probably would have got donuts and i missed a whippy but because i'm only gonna be here for like an hour and a half i'm not gonna be able to fit that much in my stomach in that short amount of time so i'm gonna have to just like make it work but anyway i'm waiting for josh so um i just thought i'd update you whilst i had some time we have made it we have a joshua here here are all the little food trucks. We're getting wings from there and um, pizza from there, but I'm waiting for it to be six o'clock for it to be our collection time. I so nearly got this as well. Look at that, it's like a warm glazed donut burger. I was so tempted to get that because that sounds like a bit of me and I was so intrigued to try it, but I decided I wasn't gonna spend £14.50 on it and instead I got, um, we got buffalo wings and then a pizza to share, but I'll show you when they get here. And I've got my picnic blanket because I'm so prepared and I've got my Stanley cups, so I've got water and it's literally the most lovely evening ever. Another ice cream van has just turned up there, but the other one is still there. So I've never seen two ice cream vans in one place. That is a good sign of a good evening, but like, how does that work? If someone's already here, can the other one be here? I don't know the rules of the ice cream vans, but to me that seems like that should be, like there should be rules. If one's already here, you can't be here. Oh, maybe that's why he looks like he's going, doesn't he? The, that ice cream van, the second one, he looks like he's aborting mission. Well, that's good to know that if he leaves, then he should hopefully come because I really want to miss the whippy. So. The food is here. So we've got two pizzas, one's for mum and I got um, wings to bring home for mum and dad for their dinner as well. They got, these are Josh and I's. We got, oh, you can't really see because of my shadow, bear with. And we've got buffalo wings. They come with a blue cheese um, sauce, but I don't like that so you can have that. And then we've got a mozzarella, no, what is the word? pepperoni pizza and these are mum and dad's wings the cream ones these are so good like both the wings are amazing but josh and buffalo so we went with them i also went to see love day who's one of my friends he's working on like a cake stand and i was like i'm not gonna get any cake because i'm gonna get a mr whippy but i'm gonna go over and see her anyway and then i got there and i saw they had a pistachio and white chocolate deep pan filled cookie and it was filled with pistachio butter and we all know my obsession with pistachio so i was like oh my god i can't resist i'll show you that in a second but i'm so hungry i want to eat my food so I ended up getting that as well, but I think I'm gonna eat that in the car on the way down to Cornwall later, like save it, and then I'm still obviously gonna get Mr. Whippy. Mm. Mm. Food has been consumed. I actually ended up seeing the donut burger. I'll insert a picture in here. I'm actually so glad I didn't get it. I was imagining it was gonna be like a Krispy Kreme original glazed donut. It looked like a Tesco sprinkle donut and it just didn't the thought of it actually made me feel a bit gross when i looked at it but if i've seen other people like other brands do it with like an original glazed crispy cream and it looks delicious like i'd just be intrigued to try it so i'm glad i didn't get that but i did obviously get my pistachio cookie cup so i shall show you her now and i'm so excited i think i'm gonna eat it in the car did i say that i think so <gasps> look at how big it is it's quite a good pasta huh it's quite a good pasta yeah. it is isn't it Kind of looks for it. Here she is. Look at how big it is. So it's got like pistachio butter on the inside, and I think it's got like white chocolate chips and like bits of pistachio on, and it's huge. Like compared to the size of my hand, I lost this nail in the car on the way, which is so annoying. So I didn't bring any glue with me. But like, look at how big it is. I'm trying to find the best lighting to show it in, and I'm struggling. Look at how good that looks. This is definitely going to be my like, because we're not going to get to Cornwall until like 1 2 a.m. So this is probably going to be my like pick me up snack at like. 10 o'clock when I'm like I want to be in bed right now and I've still got three hours left in the car this is gonna be what keeps me going guess what the ice cream van's a card this was two pound fifty though in Cornwall I can get a double like basically a double of this like two of these but under like one thing does that make sense for three pound fifty and it's double flake double ice cream so it's a little bit of a con but I'm not complaining because I've now got my Mr Whippy which is literally ending off the most perfect evening in the sun with the most delicious food and the most amazing company <laughs> Also, this is an ice cream van. I took a picture so I could show you because look at how cool they've got like um, different cereal ones. Like they've got Nesquik, they had Fruit Loops. I was kind of tempted to try one of these because I thought they'd be quite fun. That is literally so random, crunchy nut. Oh God, just skip past it. They even had this, which I don't even think is like an English cereal. I thought it was so fun, um, but I just it decided to get a classic 99. What is that? Oh my God, it's got an ice lolly in the ice cream. Anyway, I decided to get um, just a normal one because I panicked. I didn't really know what I was getting and also I 
just fancied a whippy. So I'm happy with my decision. She's gone. She's been eaten, but I'm, I wanted to show you the menu. 